Let's talk about risk-based decision-making. Now, decision-making is all about making an informed choice from a range of alternatives to enhance the probability of achieving a preferred outcome. Within the biopharmaceutical design, development and manufacturing environment, risk management managers are ultimately charged with making risk-informed decisions to accept, mitigate or control risks to the patient. Now, for me, risk-based decisions should also consider putting risk prevention controls in place and not simply just risk mitigation controls, which is what many of our QRM processes tend to focus on in terms of the way the workflows and procedures are designed and followed. This bowtie model provides a novel visualization of risk events which is helpful because it depicts possible risk management interventions for controlling risk both through preventing and mitigating that risk. So you can, I'm sure, see why it's referred to as this so-called bowtie risk model. And it presents a given risk event that occurs on a timeline drawn from the risk causes which are shown on the left-hand side, all the way through to the risk consequences which are shown on the right-hand side. Now, risk controls can and should be designed to prevent the risk event from occurring by eliminating the cause of that event or by reducing uh, the chances or probability of that event occurring. However, once the specific risk event has occurred, only mitigating controls can lessen the severity of the consequences. And those consequences can be either to the patient or the business. So the key idea here is that purposeful risk-based decision making seeks to put these preventative and mitigating risk controls in place. And mature risk management programs will ensure that there are processes and practices in place that support this view of prevention rather than cure as a starting point.